Motorists along busy Route 1 in Delaware might zoom past the simple brick buildings of Barrett's Chapel and never realize its significance in the history of the United Methodist Church. This is the place where Methodism became a church. Church historian Philip Lawton says not long after the Revolutionary War, Methodists formally split from the Church of England. They did that here November 14, 1784, at least symbolically, by celebrating the sacraments for the very first time in a Methodist meeting without an Anglican priest doing the celebration. Uh, and that was a symbolic declaration that they were going to be a church. In Baltimore on Christmas Day, they organized themselves as the Methodist Episcopal Church, the first truly American-born denomination. So this is really the Independence Hall of American Methodism. And this was the place where baptisms and the Lord's Supper were offered for the first time by an ordained Methodist minister. On that Sunday in 1784, newly ordained Thomas Koch was in the pulpit preaching when Francis Asbury arrived for an historic meeting. A star marks the place where the two embraced. At the time, the sanctuary had only simple furnishings. Originally, there would have been some split log benches. There probably a lot of people just stood or maybe brought a stool from home. Structurally, the building is a barn. People come today and they think of this as a quaint little country church. And that's not at all what Philip Barrett thought he was building. Philip Barrett was a wealthy Delaware politician, landowner, and Methodist. He was building a major meeting place for the Methodists on the main highway through Delaware. This building seats about 500 people. When he built it in 1780, there were maybe a thousand Methodists on all of the Delmarva Peninsula. By building this on the main highway, he was really making a statement. But he had a vision that the Methodists were going to grow and were going to become something important. It's here that a national movement began. Where your treasure is, your heart will be also. Methodism became one of the largest Protestant denominations in America. That November day at Barrett's Chapel, Asbury and Koch prepared to call all the U.S. Methodist preachers together. In Baltimore on Christmas Day, they organized themselves as the Methodist Episcopal Church, the first truly American-born denomination. I was baptized here, and I've just been coming here my whole life for various services. And, you know, it's not Christmas if we don't come here and sing lessons and carols. So it's just, it's a very important part of my life. Today, Barrett's Chapel is a favorite stop for confirmation classes and United Methodists who are writing the next chapter in the living history of this place. This video was brought to you by the people of the United Methodist Church through world service donations.